All right, in today's video, we're going to go over how to uh, set up and manage some courses with MemberPress. If you're not familiar with MemberPress, um, it is a popular uh, WordPress plugin that allows you to protect the content on your website and uh, either charge your users for access or uh, even in some cases maybe you just want to require users to have an account but they can access it for free. Uh, MemberPress can do either one of those scenarios and in today's uh, lesson here we're going to show how to uh, begin charging your customers for access uh, to your site. So here's just a little uh, boilerplate WordPress website that I've set up, kind of a cookie cutter thing real quick. And uh, we're going to pretend here that uh, I've started this website and as of right now I've got two courses a beginner's WordPress course and, a, uh, and an advanced WordPress course. And for the time being these courses are publicly available, they're free, anyone in the world can see them. And uh, recently the site's really taken off, getting a lot of traffic, uh, a lot of good SEO, and I've decided that I want to uh, begin charging any new customers uh, for access to this content. So uh, the first thing we do is we install MemberPress, which I have already done. And uh, you come down here, you see I've entered my license key and activated the plugin. If I come to um, the MemberPress uh, options, you can see I've set up my thank you page, and my account page, and my login page. Uh, the account page is just where your members will update their personal information and be able to manage their memberships uh, and subscriptions. And I've pretty much left the rest of the stuff at their defaults. Um, these are all covered in additional documentation in our user manual. Uh, but I did set up just an offline payment gateway uh, in order to test signups and make sure everything is working uh, properly. So that is all set up. And um, so the first thing we did here was we came to MemberPress Memberships and I created a beginner's course which is $97. It's a one-time payment and it's good for a lifetime. I left pretty much all the rest of the stuff at their defaults except for this price box. Um, I'll show it to you here and then we'll go over it in a little bit what it's actually for. Um, but this is just kind of a box that gets created um, where your users can see kind of an overview of different membership offerings that you have and uh, select between them. Um, and then I, I saved the membership and I did the same thing for my advanced course which is a thousand dollars for a lifetime. And the next thing I did was I came here to groups and I created a group and I called this group, this group courses and pricing. Now a group in MemberPress is just a way to group similar memberships together and if you uh, enable this upgrade path box which I did um, your members can only be subscribed to one of these memberships at a time and they'll be able to upgrade or downgrade between them uh, but again they can only have one at a time. So this is kinda how I wanted it set up um, so I went ahead and I saved the group and then the last thing I did was I came here to the member press rules and before I show you these rules it might make a little more sense if I show you how my courses are set up. Now I'm just using regular WordPress pages to uh, manage the course and um, yeah, this isn't a typical setup uh, most most people will use a plugin like Learn Dash or WP Courseware which has you know innumerable features that uh, can really help take your courses to the next level but um, you know for those who are just starting out maybe you know your your small business doesn't have the funds to purchase all these different premium plugins and uh, to start you just wanna use some regular WordPress pages and protect them so that uh, uh, your users can get to the course and it's not costing you an arm and a leg to get everything set up. So you can see here, after I added those rules, uh, we can see that these pages here 
um, are showing as being protected. And we'll go over that a little bit more once we uh, cover the rules here. Uh, so I've got the beginner's course, which is a, a parent page. And under it, I've got three child pages. And uh, all three of these child pages belong to this parent page. And if you're not familiar about um, kind of the hierarchy of pages in WordPress, it's really easy. Just open up uh, a page. And if you want it to be a child of some other page, you just come here to this parent section. And you'll choose a parent page. Uh, in this case, this is my beginners, my WP Beginners Lesson 1. So I wanted it to be a parent, or excuse me, a child of the uh, WP Beginners course page. Um, so that's how you set that up. And this, making these child pages actually really helps simplify the, rule, the rules that we have to create in MemberPress. So again, this is how I have it set it up, just parent-child relationships with the pages. And uh, on the main pages, I've got, I've just edited them and created links to the different lessons. So pretty simple, cookie cutter kind of clean setup here. And uh, so back to the member press rules. I created a rule for the beginner's course. And this rule was to protect all child pages of, and then I typed in the WP beginner's course here. So any child page of this parent page here will be protected. And only members who have purchased my beginners or advanced courses will be able to access it. And I saved the rule. And then next I set up an advanced course rule here, which was child pages of the WP advanced course page. And on this one, only the advanced course members can access it. Uh, I don't want my beginners course people to be able to access the advanced course because they haven't paid for it. Um, so the last thing we need to do is kind of go clean up our menu to make sure um, we clean this up a little bit. So what I want to do here is I'm actually going to remove these links and I want to um, we need to come up here and enable groups and memberships and I'm going to just create a link in my menu to my group page. And I'm going to save my menu. And now if we look at this on the front end, I'm going to click courses, uh, courses and pricing. And I see this little grid here shows me $97 for the beginner's course, $1,000 for the advanced course, and then uh, just a little bit of information, some bullet points about each one. And I can pick either one of these uh, to purchase and get started. Um, and that's pretty much it. Um, the last thing that I wanted to cover was, uh, so let me go ahead and purchase. So I'm logged in as, a, as an administrator, which will be fine for for the purpose of this test, but usually you'll want to right click on these and uh, go to an incognito window. And uh, you'll actually be able to fill out the full form um, as if you were a, a guest and uh, sign up. But uh, I'm just going to go ahead and sign up with my administrator user just to show you uh, a couple other little things you might want to do here to clean this up a little bit more and improve the user experience a bit more. So I'm going to go ahead and say get started and I'll just sign up here. Go ahead and submit and uh, because it's an offline gateway I need to come in here to the transactions and go ahead and manually approve this one and that should give me access. So if I come here and uh, let's let's add an account link here to our menu really quick. Go appearance menus and I'm going to add our account page link. And now our users will be able to easily get to their account page and manage it. So if I click on subscriptions we'll be able to see here I've got a subscription to the beginners course it's uh, good for a lifetime and I can even come here and upgrade uh, if I want and the amount is prorated on those upgrades but anyways we're not going to worry about that right now but let's say I'm a user and I've just purchased and I'm trying to get to the course and I click here and it's like oh you don't have access to purchase this item because I've already purchased it and 
I'm clicking around. I click subscriptions. There's nothing there. I click payments. There's nothing there. I don't know how to get to the course that I purchased. So as an administrator, one thing you might want to do, and I'm going to come here to pages, and I'm going to copy this link to my beginner's course, and I'm going to go to member press memberships, click beginner's course, advanced, and on this membership access URL feature, I'm going to copy in that URL. And uh, I'm also going to set it up such that when the user logs in and they're subscribed to this membership, I just want to take them straight to that course page too. So I'm going to update that. And we're going to do the same thing for our advanced course. Whoops, wrong link. Copy link address. Come to WP Advanced course here and we're going to paste in the link to that parent page for the advanced course and when they log in we'll have them redirect redirected to that URL as well. Now if we look at this from the front end if I click courses and pricing this button now says view and if I click it it'll take me to that beginners course link. Um, if I land on my account page I can click subscriptions and now this is linked and if I click the link takes me right to the course. If I click on the payments tab, if that's where I end up somehow, I can click the link here as well. So now as a user I've got multiple ways to be able to get to the content that I've purchased. Um, so let's go ahead and upgrade to the uh, advanced plan. We're going to go ahead and sign up submit and if I come to my account page now I can see uh, oh I have not approved that yet hold on one second I need to complete that payment and now let's refresh this here now I can see I am active on the advanced course and I can downgrade back to the beginners course for free if I want um, and I can see that my old beginners course uh, subscription has been canceled and I'm now an advanced user And if I click here it will take me to the advanced lesson page and if I land on the pricing I can click view here and uh, get to the lesson that I had here so anyways I hope this helps um, anyone out there looking to set up their first courses with MemberPress without the uh, extra financial overhead of using uh, a course plugin like uh, LearnDash or WP Courseware. <clears throat> um, and uh, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to reach out to our uh, awesome support. We're here to help. And uh, again, I hope this was helpful. And uh, let us know what you think.